fixed it. More people died under his administration than our administration, and we were right in the middle of it, something which a lot of people don't like to talk about. But he had far more people dying in his administration. He did the mandate, which is a disaster, mandating it. The vaccine went out. He did a mandate on the vaccine, which is the thing that people most objected to about the vaccine. And he did a very poor job, just a very poor job. And I will tell you, not only poor there, but throughout the entire world, we're no longer respected as a country. They don't respect our leadership. They don't respect the United States anymore. We're like a third world nation between weaponization of his election, trying to go after his political opponent, all of the things he's done. We've become like a third world nation, and it's a shame. The damage he's done to our country, and I'd love to ask him, and Will, why he allowed millions of people to come in here from prisons, jails, and mental institutions to come into our country and destroy our country. President Trump, we will get to immigration uh, later in this block. President Biden, uh, I want to give you an opportunity to respond to this question about the national debt. He had the largest national debt of any president for your period, number one. Number two, he got two trillion dollar tax cut, benefited the very wealthy. What I'm going to do is fix the tax system. For example, we have a thousand trillionaires in America, I mean billionaires in America. And what's happening? They're in a situation where they, in fact, pay 8.2% taxes. If they just paid 24%, or 25%, either one of those numbers, they'd raise $500 million, billion dollars, I should say.